Hey Siri, turn on Zwift. Running your shortcut. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tariq from SmartBuyTrainers.com. Apple shortcuts, probably the most underrated features in iOS 12. It used to be called Workflow. Apple rebranded it to shortcuts and integrated it more into Siri and iOS 12. And there's a whole gallery with a lot of shortcuts that you can do to create to, to share photos on Instagram or Twitter and or send your friend messages and things like that. You can download these uh, shortcuts and just to simplify certain tasks that you're probably already doing on your iPhone. But today we're going to talk about how to create a shortcut to turn on Apple TV, your TV and open the Zwift companion app. And if you came into this video not knowing what Zwift is, this is basically just a cycling app that we use and it is available on the Apple TV. But you can use this same shortcut to turn on Apple TV, turn on your TV and if you want to open any app on your phone, you can do that just by customizing that shortcut. Uh, but before we get into the app, the first thing you want to do is go to your Apple TV and go to settings and general about and get that IP address and serial number. We're going to use it later on in the shortcuts app. So now let's go and open that shortcut app and take a look at how to create that shortcut. Okay, so the process is very simple. Uh, here's the shortcut icon. You have to have iOS 12 uh, to see this and uh, just open it. And uh, let me show you the way I have it right now. Uh, these are the commands. It's pretty simple and I will walk you through how to do each one. Uh, so we'll just create a new shortcut. And uh, in the search box here, just look for text and we're gonna put the uh, text command in here and the easiest way to do this is just go to uh, the description below or smartbiketrainers.com and you'll see this text highlighted in green and just copy that I'm just gonna take it copy and go back and paste it in here and this is where the Apple TV IP uh, that one replace it with the Apple your Apple TV IP and the serial number replace it as well with your ser serial number make sure you leave that hashtag at the end okay, click on done next you want to search search for URL and click on it and when you click on the URL text here just click on the text icon and it will bring it up Click on done. Next thing is get content. So sh search for get content and it should pop up. Get contents of URL. Select that and there's really nothing. Just leave the defaults settings in here. It should have a method of get. Next thing we're just gonna cl click on the app, open app and select the Zwift companion app. And here you go. Now, next time you run it, it should uh, run. Turn on your TV, turn on the Apple TV, and turn on the Zwift Companion app. And here, if you click on this icon here on top, you can give the shortcut a name. So I'm just going to give it a quick name here. Just going to call it Turn TV ATV on. Uh, in the icon, you can give it an icon. You can play with all these uh, settings here. All right, so now we're gonna just click on Add to Siri and record a Siri phrase so to trigger Siri to run that shortcut for us. So I'm just gonna say, turn ATV on. And now next time I say, hey Siri, turn ATV on, it will run that shortcut for me. So like you saw at the beginning of the video, I said, uh, hey Siri, uh, turn on Zwift and it ran that shortcut for me and uh, basically it turned on my Apple TV, the TV and the Zwift companion app. Okay, so one thing to note here is this shortcut will not turn on an app in your Apple TV. So I had to actually grab the Apple TV remote control and browse to Zwift and open it. I don't think there's a way to do this as of today in shortcuts, but if you figure it out or if you know of a way to do it, please let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. 
Hope you find this shortcut useful. If you use it, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. And this is all I have today. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe and share it. And I'll see you in the next video.